If you want to paint but think you can't, then stop thinking and try to paint. I'm not an artist, I'm just like you. With this video I want to inspire those of you who want to paint but afraid to try. I started my watercolor and literature in January 2018, three months ago, and uh, now I am brave enough to paint without YouTube lessons, but I always use YouTube lessons to learn something new and to inspire myself. Here is a few of my YouTube teachers, it's uh, Coffee Watercolor, um, Grand Fuller, uh, Umberto Rossini and many, many, many others, lots of them. to show you how I follow YouTube lessons. It's pretty funny. <laughs> and what I get at the end. And this part is really funny. You will see, it's not hard to follow. It's hard to get the identical result. <laughs> but let's do it first. A lesson by Umberto Rossini, Blossom Cherry Trees, looks uh, very easy. So first, I watch video like a million times and make notes to understand the palette and to break the process into stages. The video now turned into script. Then I prepare the palette, mix colors, try them and see what I like and what I eventually will use. With the paper where sky is. Now I paint the sky and when it's done I soft the border between sky and white area. Now when I'm done with sky I need to check the video and see what do I do next. And this is what I should have and oops my right corner is so dark so I, I'm trying to fix it to make it lighter. I tried to fix that corner but uh, it turned out even more worse now. So next we paint uh, the blossom itself, the first layer. Oh, that corner doesn't look good. Transition from dark to light is so sharp. I want to smooth it, but all attempts to rescue make the picture worse. Eventually, I gave up and move on. This is how painting should look like at this stage. And next, uh, we are painting next layer. Uh, adding hollow glue to the pink mix. Mm, let's see what should we have. Mm, very different. And what's the next step? Now we are painting the ground. And now water. And when water is done, we go over the lake just with clean water. Three trunks. Now we are back to our blossom. Another layer of blossom mix without white color. And follow glue to the blossom. A reflections. Final touches, but I forgot to spray the painting with water. Mm -mm. And this is my final work, 
and this is on Bertha Rossini final work. <laughs> and here a second attempt. Second attempt was better, but not satisfying. Trees don't look like trees. Blue color and blossom area was applied in the wrong places. No white spaces between ground and blossom that should provide the sense of distance and deepness. Reflections are also placed wrong. Lake looks vertical and the whole picture is flat. There will be a third attempt. Both first and second picture are not what it should be at the end. Result is not impressive. That's what I call funny. Impressive result will come with experience. Experience comes with practice. Practice is what important now. Besides painting practice, I think it's important to create scripts like shown in this video. They help to systemize the knowledge. And while doing this step, you visualize the process and then it is developing in real life. And this is how the satisfying result comes to life. This video presents my process of learning. Yes, this is time consuming. On the other end, this is how I stop being afraid of painting. This is how the process becomes exciting and I can't wait to paint my next project. This time it is the third attempt of Blossom Cherry Trees. Watch next video. Watercolor Inspiration 3. How I not follow demo.